tangents at two points A and B on the circle with center O intersect at P. If in quadrilateral PAOB, angle AOB is to angle APB equals to 5 is to 1, then the measure of angle APB is. Yeah, so he says there are two tangents uh, at points A and B on a circle with the center O. And these two tangents intersect at what point? At the point P. So, so let's draw the figure first, right? Let's say this is the circle. Let's say the two points are these, right? Point A and point B. So tangents at point A and point B intersect at a point P. So they intersect here, let's say, the point P. And O is the center of the circle, by the way, right? O is the center. Yeah. Tangents at the points A and B intersect with the center O intersect at P. So this is how the figure looks like. Now, if in this quadrilateral P A O B, the quadrilateral P A O B. So let's construct the quadrilateral. So basically from the center, you have to drop a line on the point of contact A and another line on the point of contact B. You know that from the center of the circle, when you drop a line on the point of contact of tangent with the circle, it, it makes an angle of 90 degrees, right? This angle is made with 90 degrees. O A and P A will be perpendicular. OB and PB will also be perpendicular. Always standard, right? You have to remember that. One of, my, one of the basic uh, concepts uh, in, in the topic of circles, right? From the center of the circle, the line drawn to the point of contact, the point of tangency, always makes an angle of 90 degrees with the tangent. So these two are 90 degrees. Now he says that the quadrilateral PAOB in this quadrilateral PAOB, this is a quadrilateral angle AOB, angle AOB, this angle. Let's say this angle is, this angle is, let's say, uh, x right angle a o b and angle a p b are in the ratio of 5 is to 1 angle a p b angle a p b yeah uh, they are in the ratio of 5 is to 1 then what is the measure of a p b a p b is equal to what is the question a p b equals what so basically he says angle a o b or yeah i i think first of all we got to understand that the sum of all the angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees yeah, out of which 90 and 90 are gone here, 180 is gone. So what is remaining 180? So I, I can actually conclude that angle AOB uh, plus angle APB, APB will be equal to 180 degrees because 90 and 90, 180 is gone. Out of 360, 180 is gone in these two angles. So the sum of the other two angles has to be 180. But then these two are in what ratio? 5 is to 1 ratio. Angle AOB, angle APB are in the ratio of 5 is to 1, which means like 5x plus x equals to 180. So 6x is 180 which implies x is equal to 30 degrees. I think this is, I, I should not take it as x, I should take it as 5x and then this is x. They are in the ratio of 5 is to 1 right, so if this is x, this will be 5x. What is he asking us to find out, he is asking us to find out, find out the angle APB, angle APB is x which is 30 degrees, option 1 is the answer, yeah. He can also ask you to find out the angle AOB, angle AOB will be 5x, so 5x is 150 degrees, alright, so I think a sitter from circles you should not be committing any mistake while answering such questions in the exam so the next question is on geometry okay so what is given here in this question yeah so you have a point p p q and p r are two tangents to the circle with a center o such that angle q p r this angle is given as 120 degree and what should you find out you have to find out angle p o Q. So you have to find out what this angle is. P O Q. This angle you have to find out. Now what is given here? This is 120 degree. So if you see uh, this angle, right, you know is going to be 90 degree. Correct? Angle of a tangent, uh, that is angle uh, that the tangent makes with the center of the circle is 90 degree. So these two angles are 90 degree I know for sure. Now if you compare these two triangles right I am going to consider triangle POR and triangle POQ. So when I compare these two triangles what can I say? I can say that these two triangles are congruent triangles. Now how do I say they are congruent? See all their three sides are the same. Now how are all the three sides the same? Now look at this length right this PO right this is one side which is common to both the triangles. So PO is there common in both the triangles. Similarly this length right OQ is equal to OR. Why? Because that is the radius. See PO is common in both the triangles and I know OQ is equal to OR. It is the radius right so both the triangles this side is also the same. Now if you look at this length PQ and PR I can say PQ is equal to PR because these are tangents drawn from the same point to the circle they will be of the 
same length. So that is also same. Now, uh, so what does that mean? If two triangles are uh, congruent, their angles should also be the same. So these two angles are 90 degree. We know this full angle is 120 degree. So this has to be 60 and this has to be 60. Now what is the question? What is the value of POQ? So angle POQ has to be 180 minus 90 plus 60 or that is equal to 30 degree. That is option C.